run silent run deep are the words which define these mean machines they are indispensable part of the different systems of all the world superpowers the surprise attack from deep waters can submerge big ships to the ocean floor within no time they are the big mean machine submarines have you guys ever wondered how these machines work under water the answer lies in the concepts of buoyancy or upthrust an empty bottle floats in water a bottle half filled with soil submerges partly in water while a bottle fully filled with soil sinks in the water hi friends i'm sapna welcome to our duk episode on mean machines since ancient times mankind has sought to operate under the water it is believed that alexander the great ventured below the waters of the aegean sea inside a glass barrel around 333 bc a submarine in its own right he has reported to have seen whales and deep sea life on his underwater journey we have come a long way from simple submersibles to nuclear powered underwater behemoths a search for a means to remain safe underwater to gain the advantage in warfare has resulted in the development of modern submarines why are submarines so important Diving to the depths of the oceans, submarines universally run on one principle: run silent, run deep. For all practical purposes, make a hole in the water and do everything very quietly to avoid sonar searches from other submarines, ships, or reconnaissance aircraft. Modern submarines are so advanced and effective at being silent. that detecting a latest nuclear ballistic missile submarine is often next to impossible but how do submarines actually work submarines function in agreement with some key laws of nature including archimedes principle and boyle's law submarines are completely enclosed vessels with cylindrical shapes narrowed ends and two hulls the inner hull and the outer hull The inner hull protects the crew from the immense water pressure of the ocean depths and insulates the sub short for submarine from the freezing temperatures. The hull is called the pressure hull. The outer hull shapes the submarine's body. The pressure in deep ocean is so strong that these machines are often made of toughest metals like titanium. The ballast tanks which control the sub's buoyancy are located between the inner and outer hulls. When the ballast tanks are filled with air the submarine rises to the surface because it has positive buoyancy when there is water inside the tanks sub has negative buoyancy so it sinks deeper into the ocean the tanks at the front known as the front trim tanks are usually filled with water or air first so the submarine's front that is bow falls or rises before its rear that is stern The ballast tanks can also be used to help submarine surface very quickly in an emergency. Most submarines except the nuclear ones have diesel electric engines. The diesel engine operates normally when the sub is near the surface but it doesn't drive the submarine's propellers directly. Instead, it powers an electricity generator that charges up huge batteries. This drive an electric motor that in turn powers the propellers. This is because diesel engine is very noisy. By comparison electric motors are dead silent. Large military submarines are now nuclear powered. Like nuclear power plants they have small nuclear reactors and since they need no air to operate they can generate power to drive the electric motors and propellers whether they are on the surface or deep underwater. Let us look at three interesting submarine factoids. During World War 1 the sea trading routes were blocked for Germany. With the help of merely two merchant submarines Germany traded with the then neutral United States unfortunately because of german submarine attacks on even passenger ships us eventually entered the world war 1 against germany the russian navy's typhoon class submarine tops the list of the world's biggest submarines the typhoon has submerged displacement of more than 48000 tons and is the world's biggest submarine class It is a nuclear powered submarine equipped with ballistic missiles. 
Dmitry Donskoy, the first of the six submarines in the class, was commissioned in 1981 and is still in active service with the Russian Navy. Typhoon class submarine have a length of 175 meter, a 23 meter beam, and a 12 meter trot. It's huge. The submarine carries 20 RSM-52 in the continental three stage solid propellant ballistic missiles capable of holding 100 kiloton of nuclear warheads each. It is also equipped with 6533 millimeter that is 21 inches torpedo tubes and Type 53 torpedoes. Whereas an R1 alias Nervin was the smallest nuclear submarine ever put into the operation with a length of 45 meter, a 3.8 meter beam and 4.6 meter draft and displaces water of 400 tons. They are indeed amazing, powerful and lethal machines built by humans. Stay tuned for another episode of DUK series with many such interesting mean machines. Let us know what you think about the DUK mean machine submarines in the comment section below. If you like this video, then click on the like button and share it with your friends. In case you have still not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit that bell icon. Bye.